Hi guys! So I just wanted to apologize for not getting a video made last week. Um, life's been really crazy for me. I've had a, a few like bad health days over the last couple of weeks. Um, where we left off last time, the if you followed the USPS saga, I had two boxes full of rainbow high dolls coming to me and they kind of took a detour and a distribution center and so the first one showed up four weeks after it went missing the second one showed up on week five um so it was over 20 dolls all together all rainbow high dolls from series one cheerleader and series two minus stella for some reason plus uh series one of maya avery kaya all of the like special dolls um and so i was going to dial of them i kind of showed you guys my dye plans last video Today I'm going to show you which ones turned out and which ones didn't. So right quick, because um, I'm dedicated to getting this video made today because if I don't get it done today, I know that it's not going to happen at all this week. So last I caught up with you guys, that like my son was about to graduate high school um, and tomorrow he actually starts his new job. And then on top of all of this, in between that, um, just keeping up with regular life. I also had my second COVID vaccine, which I was really lucky. It did not leave me as super ill as some people had been. It just kind of left me feeling off for a couple of days. So I just had like a lot of bed rest. And then as soon as I felt better from that, I had to go to pain management for the trigger point injections in my back. Um, and I've kind of explained this to you guys before. There are these long needles that go into the muscles of your back. Um, and they insert um, an anti-inflammatory liquid because I have like a chronic pain condition um actually multiple but for the one on my back it's just yeah so um and i don't know if you guys know what spoon theory is but it is it is going to be important to the story in a few minutes so i'm going to explain it really briefly um so if you have a chronic illness or chronic uh or ailment or illness you already know probably what this is but spoon theory is um there is this girl who is ill and she's trying to explain to her friend what it's like to live with um i guess like chronic illness especially when you have like an invisible illness where like there's not obvious physical signs of you being sick so like sometimes people don't even always believe you like they think you're just being lazy or you know trying to get attention or whatever but she's trying to explain to her friend that she, you live with a very limited amount of energy and like everybody has a limited amount of energy i mean even the most healthy people i know have overdone it and then felt like poop the next day we've all been there but for people with chronic illness it's so easy to end up like that every day so the girl goes in the restaurant and she picks up kind of all the spoons off the table and she's sitting there explaining to her friend and she's like let's say these 12 spoons represent how much energy you have for your day and you know it, it costs you a spoon in order to get out of bed and take your medicine and brush your teeth and it costs you another spoon in order to shower and get your hair washed and another one to pick your clothes out get dressed get your shoes on you know so okay at this point you've already used a quarter of your energy and you haven't even left the house to go to work yet um and there are days where you use all the spoons up before you even get home so now you're too tired to cook or if you use up a spoon cooking it might be your last one and you don't have enough energy to eat and so i've definitely had that where like i've made dinner and i've just been like i'm too tired to actually go through the motions of eating it like i just want to go to bed um but sometimes i don't really take into account that I have limited energy and I get kind of wild and here's where this all ties in so I got the boxes um I decided that like during all of this last couple of weeks since you've seen me um I told everybody I was going to sell some of the clothes the stands the stuff I didn't use um and I did but like it took a while to sort all of that and I was like well how do I know what it's okay to to get rid of already and what I might need later for when I dye these dolls like I don't want to sell off clothes and then be like shoot you know what I really need a Stella skirt that I don't have or a, um, a Skylar shirt and I just sold the last one I had so I had to sort everything figure out what these dolls were going to wear and even then I couldn't be sure because I wasn't sure when I dyed their hair what the colors were actually going to come out as I knew what I was going for I knew what I was hoping for but I couldn't guarantee what would actually like come out once I dyed it so I dyed them really quickly um, and when I say really quickly, I mean that it took me, I don't know, 19, 20 hours. I started at 9 a.m. on, I think, like a Saturday and I, no, Sunday morning. And I finished at like a 6 a.m. on a Monday morning, something like that. So it was like 19, 20 hours. I don't even know. Like, 
you'll have to math that for me because I don't know. But <laughs> so why did I dye them all at once knowing that I don't have the energy for that and I'm way too sickly to sit through all of it? Because I'm crazy. Um, I honestly really, <sighs> you guys, I don't know what I was thinking. I just knew that like I couldn't figure out what to sell without dyeing them all and figuring out what they're going to wear. So I did all of that. Then I had to gather everything, make a post of it, like lay it all out, photograph it, make a post of it, sell it all during this, this following week, um, ship everything out. And then on top of this, like I said, I was getting my COVID shot, my pain management shots, taking care of my children, all of this other stuff that's going on. Um, so it did, it took a while and I ended up just way too exhausted last week to make another video, but I am devoted to making it this week because like I said, next week is fail fix week and I am really, really excited about it. Um, I'm really looking forward to dyeing their hair and doing something a little different with dolls that are a little different, doing experiments. Yeah, um, I'm actually almost got all of the fail fix dolls. I think I'm seeing like three of them, not including the ones that are like coming in the post, but uh, yeah, so we should have fun. But for now, I'm going to show you guys, and I'll make sure to include pictures of what they were supposed to be, but I'm going to show you guys how the Rainbow High Dolls from this box came out. Now, there are over 20 of them, so I'm going to try to be quick, but there are also some key points that I want to, like, I guess point out on each one of them, or on some of them. Um, and I'm also going to list below in the description what colors I used for each one, and if I used the sink method or the boil method. That way, in case you guys miss it in the video, you can hop down and reference it in the description, okay? So, first off, the one doll I was really, really excited about, um, and you guys know, because I, I did this one recently, this isn't one of the ones I'm about to show you, but I did this blonde Amaya, and her hair came out like just such a really clean, pretty platinum blonde. Um, because she has white hair, that I knew she was going to be perfect for this other thing I wanted to do. Um, you guys have probably seen I have a dark gray Bella, but her hair is kind of, I was trying to get the yellowy tones out of it and it came out a little bluer than I wanted. So I really wanted a light silver doll. Um, not even like gray, like a, like a really silver doll. And I thought about like with Maya's white hair, it's the cleanest hair color you're going to have as far as a base goes. This is what's going to work best for me. Um, so I removed her rainbow out of the back of her hair and like I have like a little video of me doing that but like I removed the rainbow out of the back of her hair um, and it really was just I slid the rubber bands down and clipped as close to the scalp as possible. You can even use tweezers to pull out any hair that's left in there um, but I left her tinsel because I wanted silver hair and I thought the tinsel would go really well with it. Now this doll like, I really, like I said, I just wanted it to be really beautiful silver. I don't know if you guys can see how even and pretty it is. It's got the tinsel still in it. I haven't painted any of their scalps yet, so you can kind of still see through where her rainbow was. I do plan on doing that in the future, but again, this week was busy. I didn't get the cheerleaders' decals taken off their cheeks, anything. So, and, and all of these dolls have had their hair dyed and, like, washed, but they haven't been styled yet. So if their curls look horrible and flat, like that's why um I've just been too busy to do it yet but I still wanted to show them to you guys at least so her outfit I have not found anything that went good with this dress which was part of the inspiration for why I wanted to do silver hair also because I had that really gorgeous copper karma that came out I thought you know wouldn't it be nice just to do metallics so the silver goes with that now her actual hairstyle and outfit is inspired by a photo I saw on Instagram but I'll try to see if I can't find the photo that inspired me. There, Amaya didn't have dyed hair, but she had the same hairstyle and outfit. And I'll post it and link their account below. So yeah, that's what she was based on. Um, right now, all of my dolls are really out of order. Because I knew that I was going to have to add these guys in. And so I kind of, somebody had mentioned taking pictures of all of them. Like all of my Amayas together. Um, or season one. All of the season twos together. All of the... Skylar's together, Ruby's together, etc. So they're all kind of in like this just weird mix right now on the shelf. So I keep looking over there to try and reference things in my brain. Um, and it takes me a minute to like find where they're at. And honestly, like, I don't know if you guys deal with this, but like if stuff is really messy or like out of order, um, like it hurts, like, does it ever cause you like physical pain to look at something that's disarrayed or like, I don't know, like it, I'm probably just crazy. But um, yeah, so 
there's that with Amaya. And then next up was Sunny because normally I keep my dolls in rainbow order, but I'm trying to figure out what I'm supposed to do with all the dolls I have that have rainbow hair. So I think they're gonna be sat at the end after black haired Amaya um, as like their own like row. So this is another one where I wouldn't, that's the other thing too. I'll look, the ones that have multiple colored hair, what, how color do I pick this their main color? Like it's one thing if they have purple hair with like blue tips, but if they have multiple ombre colors all in even amounts. So I had been putting them in whatever colors on top as their main color, but like, I don't know. Anyway, that's where this problem comes in. So this is the blue Phoenix hair dye on regular Sunny. I haven't painted her scalp, so you can kind of see gaps in between. But um, yeah, so this is actually the indigo into the sunshine orange with a little bit of fuchsia in the middle. Her tips are her regular yellow, and I did this with boil dye. I actually dyed Kaya's shorts with the indigo as well, and that way she'd at least kind of have an outfit to match. Again, like I said, part of the thing that took me so long was what do I dress them in? All right, and then you guys know I've wanted a peach sunny forever. Every time I've gotten one, I've ended up being like, oh, but wait, what about this color? And I was like, well, I'll get a peach one later. I'll get a peach one later, and I never did. I finally have her, you guys. So this is actually just Ritz all-purpose coral um, in a sink wash until it turned a peach color. It is different than the coral itself. Like I have um, a coral colored poppy and this is much, much, much lighter. So it is a very soft peach color and she has some Kaya eyes going on. Um, so it was just a little bit of coral in a really quick sink wash. Um, and then there is, of course, regular, beautiful Poppy has this gorgeous orange hair and all of the ones I've dyed have orange hair except for one cheer Poppy that has like a light honey brown hair. So I wanted to do something different with her. I wanted to go red. I actually boil dipped her in the scarlet red. It just kind of turned dark orange. Um, so I added cherry red and finally got the kind of flame color I was looking for. It's still a little lighter than I would want it. I'd still want a little more red, but then it goes into the sunshine orange and then the tips were actually supposed to be more of a yellow orange and I might have to go over them with the yellow again. They do look much lighter in person compared to in the video. I think in the video, the oranges just all kind of look the same, at least right now to me in camera. But it is a three color gradient um, and she has sunny eyes. So I think I think that Poppy with the red hair and the green eyes, like it looks really good together. Because I have so many dolls to go through, I just want to say, forgive me for talking so quickly. I just really know that if I don't get this video made today, I'm not going to have time next week. Like, I don't know when I'd get it done because of how many dolls it is. I could probably break it up but I really want to focus on other doll brands for a little bit, so. All right, so Cheer Poppy being my least favorite, I wanted to do something that better incorporated her makeup and her butterfly colors. So I did boiled black at the top and then it fades into a pumpkin spice orange at the bottom. Um, and it's kind of very like a, it kind of has like a brown gradient into the orange. So I thought that was really neat, but yeah, I really just wanted those Monarch colors. I wanted her makeup to make sense for me because honestly, like, her cheer outfit's not cute and neither is her makeup. The weird bag under her eye butterfly thing. Like I said, I think the artist meant well. I think it was probably beautiful on paper. And I think if a human did it as makeup, it would probably look really good. But I think on the proportions of the doll's face and how it sits, like it just to me looks like she's very, very tired. I have my own bags under my eyes in case you guys can't see. Like they're there. I know you can see them. Yeah, like sometimes when you're tired, it just, it, it be that way. All right, so next up, um, Ruby. You guys know that I hate dyeing Ruby because her hair doesn't do anything. I've done purple, I've done blue, I've done every color you can think of, pinks and oranges. And you know what happens every single time? Her hair comes out wine or burgundy or brown or black. It doesn't matter what you do. And I've tried, I've even tried, you guys know how much I'm against using Rit Dye more. I absolutely think it's a terrible idea. And I'll explain even more today on that because somebody, I guess, had mistakenly thought I said it was okay to use and they said something about it the other day and I have like a post on Facebook group and I was like, no, no, no Rit Dye more. It will stay in your doll. And 
I'm going to show you some proof of that because in one of the videos, I actually tried to use dye more on one of their hair because Ruby won't take color no matter what. And she wouldn't take the dye more either. It didn't do anything. I did orange on her and the steam rolling off the water, her face never touched the water. The steam coming up from it stained around her forehead. Now, luckily I caught it really quickly. I was able to wipe most of it off before it could seep in. The rest of it, sorry, I did the, um, acne cream with the 10% benzoyl peroxide and it came right off but for most people that's not how it happens so I ended up for this particular ruby I used Rit uh, all-purpose in camel which is a light brown color I was going for more of a brownish red I think it came out really nicely um I think I'm gonna go over it again because it's still a little redder than I want it's still a little more wine-ish I think in camera, but it is more of a brownish red in person. Um, and she also has Sunny's eyes. And so hers was boiled dye. This next one was actually adding like, I think I did the violet. And I actually intentionally wanted this one to go burgundy. So it is more purple than the other one. It is darker. Um, so there they are. And she has actually Jade's eyes in. And I had done some before of her, but I was so frustrated with not being able to get the color I wanted, which was purple, that I kept selling her off and being like, I'll try the next one. And I it I never could achieve it. So the next one, I actually tried the dye more orange on her. Again, the bubbles tried to stay in around the edges. I managed to get it all off. But even the steam from dye more dye stains, and you have to use it in super hot water for it to work according to the instructions from RIT. So don't use it. Don't use it for any reason. Like why you shouldn't have to. The colors aren't really any different than what's available for the all purpose. Like why risk staining your doll if you don't have to? That's all. So wanting Ruby with a different hair color, not being able to get it was really frustrating. The orange didn't change her hair at all, even with the dye more. So I cut it all off. If it's going to be red anyway. I got rid of it. Avery came with two wigs. I kept one of them on her. I put the other one on Ruby. This is with a sink wash in the royal blue and a sink wash in the fuchsia pink. And I really only wanted it to go with this dress. So, and some of their shoes, you'll probably be like, why are they wearing shoes I don't recognize? These are from Hair Amazing Hair Adorable Dolls, um, both the regular series and the Prom Perfect. Sorry, I don't know why some of the cars that go by here go by really loud and fast, even though we live in like a 35 mile an hour zone. But anyway, yeah, so there she is with this wig. I'm not taking the sparkles out of this one because I think it kind of goes with the dreamy twin star kind of vibe. Um, and then the other wig, right quick, before I get into Cheer Rubies, actually, like, I left it on Avery. Um, and so here it is. It was supposed to be kind of that um, purple to orange gradient for sunset hair. In the sunset, Sunny I did, I actually left yellow at the bottom, but because this was already red, it just kind of still turned orange. Um, and then this jacket is actually one of violets, but actually it's a little darker purple because I dyed it in the RIT all-purpose boil dye for a little while. Um, they don't change a whole lot, but they do change like a little bit. So yeah, there's her. And I'm actually leaving the sparkles in her hair too because it's miserable to take out the tinsel. It's probably one of the most like absolute tedious, miserable experiences is removing tinsel from their wigs. Um, so I just, unless you absolutely hate it and you're devoted to it, I wouldn't bother. I will say that that wig in particular was inspired by another Avery wig I did that I did remove the tinsel on. Sorry, I plopped her down and now her hair is a mess, but I don't know if you guys remember Orange Bella. And this is just uh, that same dark pink Avery wig in all-purpose writ sunshine orange with the tinsel removed um so like i mean i have done it but it's not fun at all like it's if you have nothing better to do and you're watching like a, a binge watching a show and just kind of sitting there mindlessly carefully plucking it out but otherwise like it's kind of awful i don't recommend it um next up cheer ruby again like ruby's hair doesn't do anything it doesn't change so i actually just went ahead and did it black um, cause I had another one and I gave, like I sold her to somebody who wanted one. Anyway, I took off the true sticker and I blushed her in the color I blushed her previously. Didn't even realize till the next morning it doesn't match her old blush. So I'm actually going to take this off 
and this and make sure they're the same color, but I haven't had time. So yeah, for now she has black hair. She'll be getting her fresh blush. Pretty much everybody who is, well, I shouldn't say that. Cheer Sunny, as you've noticed, has already had her stickers removed. Cheer Poppy's, like the whole reason I dyed her hair was to go with hers. So I'm gonna leave them. Um, you guys remember Bella from last time I did the sink wash on her. She was from one of the early boxes. So she got dyed before everybody else. Um, I honestly should have used aqua on her hair to get it as light as I wanted. Didn't mind, as I said, it came out and it matched the pants I wanted to put her in. This cute coat matches her lipstick. I actually have a friend recently who dyed her with cherry red writ dye and it perfectly matched her lipstick. So now I kind of want to make myself one, no lie, because it looks gorgeous. Um, so there's that. Hers was a sink wash in the royal blue. So it was Kaya's from that last, like that first box. Hers is also a sink wash in the royal blue. It turned her green mint. Um, like her pinks and oranges just turned into lavenders. So it actually worked really well because I didn't have to take any of the colors out of her hair and they all turned pastel. So there's that. Next up, kind of going to talk about some failures right quick, you guys, because I wouldn't feel right if I talked to you guys about my successes, but not my failures, because I'd never want you to think that something worked for me and then you tried it and it didn't work for you. So there must be something wrong in what you did. No, sometimes I mess up. Like I've done a whole video on times I've messed up, most of them being with Ruby. All right, so this time with Karma. So she actually has a dark brown or like a dark reddish brown, like long, what do they call them? Um, I guess it's like a long ball, so it's called a lob haircut. Um, and it's an asymmetric one where it's shorter in the back and longer in the front. Because honestly, all these dolls have the same hair and I was kind of sick of it. So I had like a, I don't know, like some kind of brain crisis in the middle of the night one night and I was like, I'm giving her a haircut. Um, because she also looked a lot like my copper, copper karma, but with darker hair. So I did give her brown hair. She was actually supposed to have holographic hair. Um, and I actually started doing this. I did it with the human hair dye and the ion brights. I hand painted it on with a tiny paintbrush and all the designs. And then I rinsed it and only two out of the five colors, four colors, five colors even took. So there was just like these weird gaps where it was stained like horrible colors and then nothing in the other gaps. So I was like, you know what? That looks dumb. So I actually dyed over it with the Rit All Purpose Cocoa Brown, which is the more reddish brown, whereas the dark brown has like a cooler tone to it. Um, and it covered everything that I'd previously done to her hair. And then, like I said, I had like a fit one night and cut it because I'm so sick of all of these dolls having the exact same hairstyle. It's driving me crazy. But I'm nervous to cut it because, like, it's not like it's going to grow back if I mess it up. All right, next up, this one is probably getting her cheer decals removed. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. She looks kind of cute in her cheer outfit, but, like, I'm not committed to it. And that is Cheer Violet. Cheer Violet was actually supposed to have completely different hair. Um her hair was actually supposed to be a pastel rainbow and I think I might try it someday on another white hair to Maya if I get one um there's actually at least that would make three more that I want for hair dye colors that I want to try I don't know but yeah I just don't want to spend 30 dollars on something where I'm gonna throw half the box away because it's all junk um and she doesn't come with a second outfit to kind of make it worth it so yeah so cheer violet i didn't love the pastel rainbow i tried it not all of the colors even looked good with her skin tone and i had another friend who had dyed her like a wine color and said that the wine didn't look good with her skin tone either so it could just be cheer violet or maybe just some colors like with humans just don't look right in certain skin tones but i went over it with indigo i left some of the purple streaks in intentionally um and some of the colors turned aqua whereas some of them turned indigo. So she has a lot of really pretty blue and purple streaks. I think she turned out pretty cute, um, even though she didn't come out the way I wanted her. I haven't really decided yet who all I'm keeping and who all I'm selling. That's really hard too, because I do have a shelf set aside for series three, but just all the dolls that I've dyed from Cheer and series one and series two take up three shelves already. So like I need to start being more picky on who I keep. Um, especially as, as often as I dye dolls. Okay, so this next one is another one that technically she came out the right colors, but I don't love it. Like, and I thought I'd keep this one in order for me to show you with the skin tone how it looks 
in this video. I am going to re-dye it. I'm not going to talk about what colors yet because I think I know, but I'm not 100% sure. I was supposed to do a cool gemstone colored dye on violet. Um, you've got your emeralds, you've got aquamarines, you've got amethyst purples, you've got like rich pink colors. There's some rose quartz pink, like it came out in all of the gemstone colors it's supposed to have, but you guys, I don't love it. I don't, I don't know why I thought it would look good in, in my head, but I don't love it. And, and she's got ruby eyes, by the way. Um, I don't know. You guys have probably noticed most of them have had eye swaps. I, I think I forgot to point them out on most of them too. So yeah, she is getting re-dyed. She's currently, by the way, in a Wild Hearts Crew, Corey Cruz, like one piece, but that's going to change soon. I don't know when I'll get to re-dyeing her, but I promise you guys I will show you in a video as soon as I do. Next up is Amaya. I did Kelly Green. It did cover all the colors under her hair, but it changed them to various tones of green. So like the orange changed into olive. Um, some, like some of the blue is more of a, like a emerald green, whereas some of the like other colors like yellows and stuff are more of the true Kelly green. So all of the colors that were in her hair, some of the purples turned into like a really dark green like almost a hunter color. So yeah, she the green did cover it just like the blues and purples I'd done previously, but it just depends on if you would like all of that multi-tonal range. I do, I think it adds more depth, but for some people they would probably want it flat and with her hair being so many different colors, that's hard to achieve. All right, next up, sorry guys, I know I'm running close to 30 minutes already. Um, maybe it'll be less when I edit it, but just in case, I'm going to try to hurry. Next up is Stella. I wanted one with dark purple hair since I have one with light purple hair. Um, I did leave like a little cute pink streak in the front of her hair. And then I dyed her dress to match. So like, because this stayed pink when I dyed it, like it wouldn't dye. Hence why there's a pink streak in the front of her hair. But both her hair and the dress were dyed in Ritz all-purpose in plain purple, like regular old purple dye. Um, she is missing an earring, but I dropped it under the dresser one day when I was getting her off the shelf, and I've just been too tired to get on the floor and get down there and try to find it, so it is what it is. All right, next up, this was another one that technically I wanted to do green, but at the last minute I changed my mind and I used the color emerald, which is more, honestly, more of a teal color on most of these dolls, even though it is supposed to kind of be green. Um, and this did in fact turn out dark teal. And I don't know if you can see it as good, but it is like a really beautiful dark teal. I do need to redo her clothes because they're not as dark teal as I wanted. I got impatient and took them out of the boil dye for like too quickly. And then I did like a, a partial repaint of her eyeshadow because like the purple didn't go well with the teal and gave her some jade eyes. Um, I love Crystal and of course, as of right now, she is our only darker skinned um, Rainbow High doll. There should be another one coming out in series three, but who knew if they were going to put out another one i mean before series three was announced anyway and it really inspired me to want to dye crystal as many times as i could but i have let's see i have the regular indigo one i have a purple one and then i have a dark blue one and all of them look good with the purple and blue eye makeup she already has so with teal i just wanted something different and of course the, i think it's the rose one that's supposed to be dark skinned on the next batch I'm really looking forward to trying some warm colors with that skin tone. So I cannot wait until series three comes through. All right, next up, our resident boy, River. He was supposed to be red because um, I was really inspired by the boy in the webisodes um, who has red hair. He kind of looks like he could be Ruby's twin brother. Oh, with River being our current only boy and none announced in series three or in the twin pack. Can you read the disappointment? Because it's there. Because I love boy dolls, but like most lines don't have enough of them. Um, I decided that the red was going to be a thing. It didn't come out. It started to come out too purple. I already have a purple boy. So I went over his hair with Ritz All-Purpose Indigo. And it gave me this really rich purpley blue color. Um, and you can see like the shave section underneath. So he's really cute. His jeans are his stock jeans. They're just dyed in Ritz black dye in a boil wash. Um, he came out really cute. All right. Next up is Skylar. All right. So Skylar, 
I've never really loved that big swatch of um, like a light, light blue, almost whitish color that goes across the top of her head. Like it looks cute, I think, in the webisodes, but it doesn't look cute on the doll. So I wanted to do it pink. So it was supposed to be fuchsia, but honestly, since her hair was already light blue, it's kind of more muted. Um, and then the color that was already kind of turquoise in her hair, I don't know if you guys can even see it, like it turned like a light purple color. And then I actually left the dark blue because it was very similar to what was in the inspiration picture. So she has three tones in her hair. I might actually go over some of the purple strands with a slightly darker purple to separate it more from the pink so that it's more noticeable. Her jeans are sunnies done in a boil of just regular writ all-purpose purple. And she has ruby eyes. I think she came out really kind of what I was expecting. I really thought that the top color being so light that the fuchsia was going to take better and it probably would like if I go over it again it'll probably be more of the bright like what you see in the picture that is the inspiration picture but I haven't had the energy to do that like getting these guys all dyed in one day so that I could get it all done and get everything else listed and know exactly what I needed and didn't need took up so much energy that like I really haven't touched them in like the two weeks since because I've been way too tired all right, so then there is Cheer Skylar, and I know her hair probably looks black on camera, but it's actually a really rich, dark purple. Um, maybe you can see it. There we go. And it's really prettier in person, even, than what it's showing up on camera. She is getting her cheek decals removed, but again, I've just been too tired to, like, bother with it. So all of this, like, it's weird to me. It looks black on camera, but, like... I guess like up close you can kind of tell that it's like a really pretty purple and when she's backlit it just glows in like beautiful purple so I really like the way she came out um because I've done the green was it a green one of her wait where is she even at oh no all of the ones I've done of her are blue actually come to think of it maybe that's why I wanted a purple because I've done a green regular Skylar anyway so then last up is Jade now you guys have seen the rainbow ones I've done I'm pretty sure I've shown those um Jade actually takes color surprisingly well. The yellow went over her hair and made yellow. The red went over without being muddy. Um, like her hair actually takes color really well. So when I did Mermaid Jade, and she's old, like you guys have seen her before, um, I did her in different colors than what's in her hair now. And it just felt really flat. Like I think I had used the navy blue and it was just very, very flat. So actually I went over the top of her hair in indigo and then with this, I mixed some teal and emerald. And then I went over the bottoms of her hair in like a yellow and neon green mixture to get this kind of poison green color. And so yeah, like I, I really love her hair much more now because I feel like it is brighter and it stands out better. And of course she's got crystal eyes. I don't know if I said that already. <sighs> all right, you guys, so this was one of the ones I was really looking forward to the most. I love cactuses, succulents, all of that. I have a ton of them in my house. They're some of my favorite plants. Um, so I really wanted to do succulent hair on Jade, and I did, but the succulent dress I have, it's a Barbie dress, it has little cactuses and stuff. It's like pink and green. I actually have on one of my Gulia dolls. I'll try to put a picture up and even though it's a Barbie dress like it's strapped on with clear rubber bands but it looks really pretty on her it's the only thing I had at the time that went with her lipstick so I needed something to put succulent jade in and I found this really really freaking cute Barbie watermelon dress so now she's more like watermelon jade so yeah she's got the fuchsia in the end of her hair this top part has been taken to being a little more like a like blue or like teal color with some aquamarine and I think it actually matches her dress really perfectly. I'm really excited about that. She's got some Monster High shoes on. Like, I really love the way she turned out. I was kind of nervous about her. And I don't even know why. Now, one of the ones I was, the very last one at that, and I was really not sure how she was going to come out, um, is Cheer Jade. Now, Cheer Jade was supposed to get poison-inspired hair. Um, it's darker than normal Karma's hair by a little bit but yeah so I got that and then I mixed some emerald and teal to get the second color that's under here and then the underneath is a really gorgeous dark purple and that's just regular writ purple so yeah she's got cool poison inspired hair and I actually did the purple from underneath as the hair wrap for her ponytail 
so you can kind of better see all three colors. I don't, I want to take off her cheek decals. I know it can be done and they can be blushed, but I also know that there is a 99.9999999% chance that it's going to leave little yellowish green stain cheeks or stain marks across her cheeks. And I'm not looking forward to that. Even though it can be blush and it's not as noticeable, like it's such a drag and it's so hard to get off. The stuff just smears and, <sighs> but I'll probably still take it off. All right, you guys, so that, that was a lot of dolls. That was like 20, three, 24 dolls. I don't even know. That was a lot of dolls, you guys, and I dyed them all in one day. Hallelujah, I'm amazing. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm just kidding. But yeah, so I really, I loved it, but I'm kind of burnt out on Rainbow High right now. So like I said, next week is Fell Fix. Um, follow me on Instagram if you want to see more pictures of these dolls, especially once I get like their decals removed and their hair dyed, etc. Or if you want to see what all of my Avery's look like together and all of my Sunnies and etc, etc. Community pictures of that. Um, and yeah, if you liked this video, like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, all that stuff. And I will see you guys next week for some fail fix fun.